Hello, good evening, welcome to the stream tonight. I have several things planned for this stream, including Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure, and if you remember back a few streams ago, I tried to stream Millennium Auction and it didn't work. However, I fixed it, and it only took six or so hours of work, but I'll get into that later. Uh, I want to start this stream off with a video. Enjoy. Hold on, the capture is broken. Okay, hold on, this is not going to capture normally. It, it was working like two seconds ago, right before I started the stream, but uh, it's not happening. Um, so, I might have to do a bit of finagling. Um, let's see here. Sorry about this. That is the wrong monitor. Monitor 2. Come on. Okay, close enough. Okay, sorry about this again.
so that was a video. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's much uh, more of an explanation that can be given to that video um, other than the fact that it was one. Uh, basically, I found that um, the guy has made hundreds of videos that are all sort of like that one. That one was the most interesting one I found. Um, and it's just, they're all terrible like that. And he's like trying to make a TV series called Earthovision, which is all this non-violent, friendly, you know, almost metaphysical-like uh, television series that he's trying to make, but it's with those exact graphics, so I don't expect it to take off anywhere soon, even though he is still trying to um, apparently get it on some TV station somewhere. It has a, has a website and everything, and he's uploading videos even currently, which is amazing, um, as far as I can tell. So... Look at this wonderful stream with all these graphics. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. That looks quite a bit better, except for the fact that, unfortunately, there is no clip art bot this stream. It is a sad fact. Um, I don't know if you're hearing... Uh, if anyone else is hearing feedback, let me know, and I'll see if maybe it's something incorrect I've set up or something. Um, basically, Clip Art Bot is not working today because he has fallen due to the Twitch password reset, unfortunately. I will be able to fix him, it's just I couldn't do it in like two minutes because I have him saved in a different computer and then I have to like recompile the whole thing and that would take um, time, which I didn't really have if I wanted to stream um, at this time. So, Clip Art Rot will be back next stream, I promise. Um, but unfortunately for this stream, he will not be here. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just center the chat like that, maybe. Maybe something will end up getting put there, who knows. Um, so yeah, Clip Art Bot, however, it's not the only thing that didn't work. Um, I mentioned I got Millennium Auction working, that's a story in itself, but I wanted to play another game before then, and I found out that I had downloaded a long time ago in order to stream, but I had completely forgot about it, a game called Extreme Paint Brawl, which you might have heard it is infamous for being developed in literally two weeks, and is also one of the worst PC games ever made. And I wanted to stream it, but uh, believe it or not, it doesn't work properly. <laughs> I cannot get the sound to work. Um, so, won't play that. Then, as you might be able to see here, found a game called Taco Bell Tasty Temple Challenge, which I thought would be a very fun game to stream, considering Twitch has Taco Bell emotes, and I have Taco emotes. Uh, unfortunately, it runs at like 2 frames per second, so I can't really stream that either. However, it reminded me of another advert game I used to play a long, long, long time ago, like probably when I was like three or something, called Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure, which I downloaded and works on this virtual machine, but not the Windows 95 virtual machine, which I tried it on first. Um, I will go into the Millennium Auction story a bit later, but basically let's say it required over six hours of work to get it working, and it's, most, and it's because most of that time was spent trying to get it to run in a virtual machine that I didn't end up using. Um, this to say, Windows 3.1 in retrospect is not very user-friendly, at least not compared to modern Windows. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure, because I don't have anything else to do. Uh, let's fix this window. There we go. Don't want to see that there. There we go. There we go. That is every taco emote on Twitch, except for anyone who might also have a taco emote. But that is most of the taco emotes on Twitch, at least all the ones we care about. Uh, so, anywho, this is Caption Crunch's Crunchling Adventure, copyright 1995, the 
1999 rather, the Quaker Oats Company. Um, I doubt they developed it though. Uh, it looks like Cobalt Interactive, which I've never heard of before. Um, it's made by Rad Game Cool, Rad Game Tools. Yep, developed by Cobalt Interactive, produced by CyberSight. Never heard of any of those companies. So. And don't worry, America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Um, I don't know about that anymore. I think it's a number 101 at this point. Anywho, I have no idea who Lattice is. Presumably, that's the character that was saved from where I downloaded this from. Let's create a new Crunchling. Hi. Before we get started, you need to choose the Crunchling you will raise and train. On the next screen, you'll give your Crunchling a name and help them choose their colors. Go ahead and pick the little critter you'd like to raise. Okay, well, at first glance, these look pretty much the same. That one has, like, a pink bow and that one has a green hat, so... And shoes, too. So... I don't know. <laughs> Which one do you want? One, two, or three? I was going to say something, but I forgot what that was. I mean, I really don't think it matters that much which one I get. They all look exactly the same. I mean, they have slightly different hairstyles, but that's it. Maguino says two, so we'll go with that one. Gotta give him a name. Don't know what I'll call him yet. So your fur color, blue, pink, red, green, and then purple and brown. I don't know. And then skin color too. Let's see. What do we want? Green on green. I don't know, I'm just clicking around at this one. Let's go with orange and red, sure. And name, I don't know. Okay. His his Yeah, that that'll work. <laughs> Monotone crunch. Is that gonna fit? Uh no, it's not. But I can go with mono crunch. I can do that, that'll work. Sure, mono crunch. Alrighty, thank you, Captain. This is your little buddy's new home. All of the comforts of Crunchium City, including plenty of Crunchium inside lots of Cap'n Crunch cereal. In order to feed this... Did you say Cap'n Crunch? Crunch? Just click one of these levers. You know, I never know I wanted Cap'n Crunch cereal before, but I really want Cap'n Crunch, Crunch cereal. Crunch Someone needs to make that happen. As well as plenty of Cap'n Someone Crunch needs to make cereal. a Cap'n Crunch. You can tell if your buddy needs a pat by looking at this bar. I am looking at the I bar. Ready to start your crunchlings training. Good luck, and just click on this big screen if you need me. I'll stop in. And it's not a particularly big later. screen uh, by today's standards, but okay. So, uh, I don't exactly remember what you do. I know you give uh, your crunchling Captain Crunch cereal that you get, of course. To get it peanut butter crunch and then the other one which I think is the berries one yep crunch berries you defeat him all the way till the food bar gets to the top I suppose you can eat quite a lot of cereal in retrospect and I can tickle him and bravo, now he has perfect food and perfect happiness. He is the happiest crunchling in the world, and it only took 20 seconds or so to make that happen. Um, so beyond that, uh, apparently you can challenge the Crunchium Thief. I don't know about that. Uh, Go Online doesn't work, I tried it, by the way. It gives a 404 error. Does the lava lamp do anything? No. Does the door do anything? Nope. Uh, so I think the only other things we can do here are these three mini games: speed, jumping, and strength. Does that say go crime? Uh, no, yeah, go online. 
time to practice your speed, eh? Well, come with me. We're off to make way I don't know how you see crime out of that. I can just... Oh, I, I sort of see it, yeah. Sort of see it. I can crime this out of that. This is Backwardia. Anything could happen in this crazy place, but it always happens backwards. You're going to race against this turtle on your skateboard, and you'll need to jump over all of the things in your way. Just press your right arrow key to skate, and the space bar to jump on your marks. Okay, that's easy. Set, I like his symmetrical car. So literally all I do is hold the right mouth or the right arrow and spacebar to jump. Oh, I should have gotten that, I think. That was a oops. There we go. Hopefully if I get enough Oh hey look, Gatorade sponsorship, just what you wanted. Also, no fair the Gatorade sign the Gatorade sign is not backwards. Whereas everything else is. I mean, you, this town should sue Gatorade. I mean that is simply unacceptable. Also, I am way behind. I was thinking collecting the crunch things speed you up, but it doesn't really seem to be doing that much. Like, I'm not catching up at all. Not at all. This is like one of those really crappy Flash games, except it's actually put together decently well for a 1999 game. Way to go! Don't worry, little critter. You may not be as fast as that turtle yet, but you're getting there. Just keep practicing, and you'll beat him in no time! Okay, let's uh, try another game. He needs more food already. I think this crunchling is going to get overweight uh, by the end of this. Time to set sail for Computica, crunchling buddy. We're going now I'm going to do, do the jumping, jumping minigame, which is apparently set in Computicon. to Computica. Here you'll practice jumping as you make your way up these memory platforms to reach the top. Just press space to jump and guide yourself in the air with the arrow keys. The faster you can reach the top, the better okay, you Okay, so score. this looks like doodle oh, jump. For you to find on the or way. some variation thereof. Bonus points. Good luck. I'll meet you at the top. Uh, maybe calling this a really crappy flash game is too unfair. I mean, it's put together reasonably well. On your marks. Get set, go! Especially for when it came out. And also, it's a free game, so. Okay, uh, controls. Very floaty. Very, very floaty. Uh, I would say too floaty, in fact. Like, you sort of. Hover in the air for a moment there, it's a bit weird. So am I the little monster Rama? I think I am his trainer. There we go. What magnificent jumping! Okay, so I did good that time. Let's go home. And uh, feed him again. Give him some crunch berries this time. And then tickle him with a feather because that's the only thing in the world that makes him more happy. And then we play the strength game. Jurassic car for a voyage to the time when the Crunchosaurus ruled the earth. We're going to do some <laughs> throwing practice. Oh yeah, remember remember the Crunchosaurus? Those were the things that died out 65 million years ago. That's what I call <laughs> making some time. All ashore for Jurassic. We're going to build muscle with some boulder throwing. And those lava rocks up above you are the perfect targets. Just use your arrow keys to move back and forth. And your space bar to pick up boulders and throw them. No better exercise for the old throwing arm. Allow me to demonstrate. Wow, Captain, that was really impressive. Good luck. Remarks. Let's 
Okay, so this is hit the rock with your rock. Except that doesn't go up nearly as fast as it, the captain threw it. Um, this is probably not the most effective way of playing the game, just mashing the space bar. I think I got bonus points there. Maybe. Doing well, that's something. I can't get crushed, that disappoints me. No violence allowed in this game. I'm having so much fun right now. Although, to be fair, it is a free game, so what can you expect? Free game in 1999 for that. Good job! Remember, the more you practice, the stronger you'll get. The more you practice, the stronger you get. Although apparently I didn't get nearly as much strength points as I did speed points or jumping points for some reason. Gotta feed him again. And then tickle him again. And then we do these things again. Hooray! Time to practice your speed, eh? Well, come with me! We're off to Backwardia! And I cannot skip... Cannot skip the cutscene with Captain marks. Crunch. Set, set, go! I hope you like this game before, because we get to play it again, although now I'm slightly faster. Now I can actually outrun the turtle, as opposed to last time. It might have actually been impossible uh, the first time you played this game to win. Apparently turtles can run faster backwards than forwards. It's an interesting fact. Oh, you know what it is? I bet the more crunch berries you get in the game, the more, um, the more points you get, the more stats you get, so... Yep, this is, uh, as far as I know, the whole game, except for challenging the Crunchium Thief. It's, I suppose I can't do until I max out all these stats, and I don't really feel like doing that. So this is literally just feed him, tickle him, and then play the games over and over and over and over and over again. Set sail for Computica, crunchling buddy. Not much replay value, I would say. On your marks, get set, go! And yet here I am, replaying the game. that other uh, crunchling that was saved had points saved up. Or if it was just a blink one. I wonder if I can challenge the crunchy and thief with him. Something to try, perhaps. There we go. That was a worse time than before. Probably because they spend it all trying to get all the things. Okay, now's the speed run. 
This is the Captain Crunch Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure or whatever it's called. Jumping minigame speedrun and it's not looking good so far. Because it's 15 seconds and I'm exactly where we started. Uh, let's ignore that bit. I can still catch up. There's still time to be saved. Also, you can just pull down the space bar. There we go, new world record! Hooray! On your marks, get set, okay, let's go. try it again. No missed a jump. Look at that, 17 seconds! I have the world record. It is smashed. In fact, it, yeah, actually, no, it's not smashed. It's crunched. Captain Crunched. That was a bad pun. I apologize. Let's see. What's this? Let's just see what this does. How's the training coming, you two? I hope things are going well, because we're all counting on you to save the Crunchlings and keep Cap'n Crunch cereal a sweet and delicious part of everyone's breakfast. Now, here's a little tip It's not a part of everyone's breakfast because I have not eaten Captain Crunch in years, but thanks for trying. The more accurate you are, the more strength your Crunchling will build. Good luck. Okay, so that just told us to play the game, essentially. Save Captain Crunch. Oh. I thought it would take me back to the main menu. No, it just quit out entirely. View store. You need the CD to play. Oh, I do not have the CD. I used to have the CD. I used to have a CD copy of this game, but I think I got rid of it a long time ago. Aw oh, man, AOL free trial! Oh come on, we have to install the CD. Or insert the CD. And, yeah. Okay, cancel please. Uh, hold on, I wanna see... This guy. Oh no, he has no stats. He's been fed, somewhat. Uh, but he has no speed, no jumping, no strength, so... That's unfortunate. I think eventually they'll morph, like this is kid form, and then I'll go to teenager form, and then adult form. Oh, I, oh, I can also pet his head instead of tickling his feet. Okay. That's a fun fact. Uh, probably something more fun is to not play the game. <laughs> Although, that's that's a bit unfair. It's, it's competent. It is a game which functions... And would probably make kids want to eat Captain Crunch, I suppose. So, I have no idea, um, I actually do know what resolution Millennium Auction runs at, because it was quite a pain to get Millennium Auction working. Quite a, quite a pain, to say the least. Um, you may notice I have a Windows 3.1 virtual machine, uh, which I made recently, um, I moved it, and the reason I installed a Windows 3.1 virtual machine is because I thought, you know, Millennium Auction did not run in the Windows 2000 virtual machine. The game was made in 94, so that was back when Windows 3.1 is out, so I'll just try running it in a Windows 3.1 virtual machine, maybe it'll work then. Um, However, what I didn't realize is that Windows 3.1 is a pain to get working in a virtual machine, to say the least, which I will now demonstrate. I managed to make Windows 3.1 know that I had a CD drive. That, that was a process, believe it or not. Then you load up Windows 3.1. Uh, normally it doesn't take nearly this long, actually. Usually it's like half a second to load Windows. I might have broken it. <laughs> that would not surprise me if I did. Oh, here we go. 
it's doing something. Well, basically, the CD-ROM getting it to recognize that wasn't a huge problem. The main problem um, was the video driver. By default, Windows 3.1 runs in, as I can show you, in Windows Setup. Wait for it. VGA. And specifically, which you can't see here, VGA in 640 by 480, 16 colors. Um, which, if you know anything about colors, 16 is not many. <laughs> and Millennium Auction just looked horrifically ugly, so I was trying to get a display driver that would display 256 colors, so that way the game would look reasonably alright. Um, unfortunately, video drivers and virtual machines do not cooperate. I went through at least four different um, video drivers and they all failed in some different way. One of them said, sorry, this can only be loaded with a CHIPS SVGA or something like that. And then I googled what a CHIPS SVGA is and there were no, sir, no results on Google for a CHIPS SVGA. So. I have no idea what it is. The internet has no idea what it is, uh, which means it simply does not exist, as far as I'm concerned. So, I then tried some other things, another one through an error. One seemed to load Windows, but the screen was just completely unrecognizable. Lines everywhere, and it was all pink and purple and stuff, so scrap that. Um, and also, there I could not get sound to work on this either, so... After about six hours or so, I said, screw it, why not try a Windows 95 VM? Maybe that won't be such a pain. And indeed, it wasn't a pain, because it has 32-bit color built in, which is quite nice. Uh, one thing it didn't have was sound, but that was a fairly easy installation process. Just had to install some sound drivers. Um, and incidentally, the ins installation of the sound drivers did cause the virtual machine to blue screen, but it does seem to be producing sound, so I'm not going to question it. Not going to question the blue screen. Um, unfortunately, the screen is a bit weird. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there is, like, the screen is about 16 pixels higher than it should be. And I think I need to restart to fix that. So I'm going to restart the virtual machine. That should hopefully just take a minute or so. Please wait while your computer shuts down. Don't you miss that message that says it is now safe to turn off your computer? I actually tried shutting off the virtual machine. And it displayed that message. And then I tried to shut it down again. But it wouldn't let me shut down because it didn't think Windows had shut down because it was displaying that message. And I had to um, kill VMware in Task Manager <laughs> to get it to shut down. There we go. Um, screen resolution's a bit different. Let me fix that. Uh, maybe it's a bit too large. Okay, that's it. Too large. Okay. Okay, um, now there's quite a lot of blank space, um, hold on, oops, um, hold on, I can fix this, I'm just, I'm just going to, uh, make the chat bigger, <laughs> it might be slightly ugly, but, oh well, um, if ClipArtBot was here, it would not be a problem, but unfortunately, Clipart bot has lost his password temporarily until I give him a new one. Yeah, Windows 95 had a good startup noise. I'm quite partial to the startup noise in Windows Millennium Edition, actually, because I've heard that one for quite a while. Um, so let me go ahead and change the stream title. Uh, okay, that's viewers. That's not what I wanted. Um, didn't actually know that was a thing. Now I do. So, okay, Millennium Auction. A 1994 game with CGI and stuff. And update that. Don't think, uh, actually, never mind. Okay. So it is time.
do the honorary drum roll because Millennium Auction is one of those games that I hyped up for months and kept delaying and delaying and delaying. And then eventually I get around to playing it and it doesn't work. And then I fix it finally. So you've been waiting patiently for months for this game. Although maybe you haven't been waiting. Maybe you just haven't cared. In which case I totally understand because you probably didn't. But anywho, this is Millennium Auction. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, this is a simple fix. I just need to uh, attach the CD-ROM. That's all it is. Need to use an ISO. Do 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 do. I need. Where is it? There we go. And there we go. The ISO is loaded. Oh, what, what, what the? What did I just do? Okay. Um. I don't know. I just clicked randomly and now my mouse is freely moving uh, the window. I I don't know. Um, hold on. There we go. Is that 640 by 480? What resolution is this? Is 640? No, 680 by 547. Uh, please make it 640 by 480. I'd like to keep those settings. Um... Now the chat's going to be too small again, because this is what it should have been all along. Hold on. Gotta fix this, and then I'll click on the borrow link. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Actually, I'm just gonna... No. There we go. All the size there. Except there's a pixel. Pixel off. There we go. And then Chatty's also going to have to get shrunken down to like that. There we go. And then feel like there should be something here, but I don't know what. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just be really, really creative and say clip art bot not found. And just put that there. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's, let me click on the link. It opens up in the wrong... Wrong monitor. But I can move it over and you can see it. Perhaps. Oh, is this Kappa Crunch? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dear. That ad. Um... Maybe this wasn't set to a safe for work. Or I don't know. I didn't make this for you. I have um, the admin account. I should maybe fix that. Maybe I should change this from not monotone tin and maybe just make it tin and stealing. And if anyone ever wants to put something on here for some reason, they can. That is indeed Kappa Crunch, although you can't see it. Um, you still can't see it. Hold on. Open image and new tab. There we go. Now it should fit. There we go. There is Kappa Crunch. That is excellent. Smart choices are made easy. As you can see right there. Alrighty. Okay, so now... Now, hopefully, we can play Millennium Auction. Here we go. My mouse cursor is a swirl for some reason. It's made by a company called Eidolon, or however you pronounce that. Welcome to the auction house. Oh, that's a weird I static sa oops. I I did not mean to do that. Uh, I just wanted to turn up my volume and then it broke everything. Hold on. Uh, let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> and let's start the game up again, except this time I want to turn my volume up slightly because I can barely hear it. 
Um, how about, how about volume 40? Or 39, whatever. Okay, third time's the charm. Oh no, that's too loud. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Kill it. This is a incredibly precise calculation that needs to be made here. Exactly which volume should I listen to it? So I think I picked something in the middle. It's still a bit loud, but I'll go with it. There we go. Oh, that's quite loud. Is the game echoing over the microphone at all? Because that might be a problem. And also, this is really staticky. Um, I don't know if that's the driver I made for this, or the driver I installed. Of course. I don't know how to fix it. And I shall be your guide. So I'm sorry, you might have to just deal with it. Through the unholy marriage of art and money. Please register at the info. Hopefully it's not like this the whole time. I don't think it is. Okay, there we go. Please register at the info link. And so I really paid attention to because it was so carried away over the static. Um so, we have all these people to choose from. I guess these are the characters we can choose from. Um, from the, like, ten seconds I played of this. Uh, you can't click on anything. You have to drag things, which is a bit annoying. So, like, um, so you have to drag open to the info link to open the info link. And there is literally nothing in the info link. Thank you. Um, go back to the dossier, or however you pronounce that. Okay. I think info and one of these people will work. Let's do him. Name, Takeshi Mori. Resident, Los Angeles. National origin, Japanese. Occupation, founding president, cyber optics, virtual reality vision. This guy is living in United East Asia. I know, remember that country. Uh, I should point out this game is set in the uh, far-flung future year of 2011. So keep that in mind uh, while we play this game. Also, that is slightly creepy when it goes around the back of his head and you can see his eyeballs like that. Um, can I view? Ooh, I, I can view the confidential data. Uh, September 1st, 2009. Am I supposed to be expected to read this? Uh, Mr. Takeshi Mori enjoys a, a lewd three credit rating. I'm, I'm just going with that, with their office. If necessary, please verify from our automatic facility on um, Wannabe Lays Nippon Trust Fin XOR, your merchant encryption key with Pack of the Mile, and the current closing Nikki average for state authentication at your service that guy I think he's Mr. Watanabe uh, thank you for that I'm glad it was in such readable text we just want to shake people up a little alrighty look at how well scaled that picture is um, Brass balls is not an end in itself, he says. It's a delivery medium. Okay, I have no context for that, and I'm going to keep it that way. What's this? Is virtual reality mined out? Don't bet on it, says rock entrepreneurs. Yes, the people selling you rocks think there is still a long ways to go in virtual reality. So you think uh, they might stop living under a rock and get with it. Get with the times. That says things probably. This also probably says things. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's see. Who else do we want to look at? This person has a creepy face. Name. Dieter Haas. Dieter Haas. Residence. Titillated Monaco. National origin. German. 
So he lives in United Europe. And they just named everything United. It's like United Europe, United East Asia. Is someone going to be from the United United States? <laughs> uh, what's his confidential things? To whom it may concern, this document verifies the level 3 account from Mr. Dieter Haas, residence Monaco. Any inquiries regarding status may be positioned on the main trunk to my intention. Abloud at ibank.f.net.ue Most sincerely, Osgood Blood, account manager. Okay, um... See who else is there. I wanna I wanna see you. Name Shantina. Sharilla May Washington. Residence New York. Oh man, it's just United National States. It's not United United American. States. Occupation. Singer, founder, and owner. Sojourner Players and Direct Broadcast Teleperforming Company. Alrighty, let's see. Let's, let's read her confidential documents, right? Why not? Miss Sherilla May Washington enjoys a level 3 credit status with our bank. Please direct any inquiries to my attention at this office. Yours truly, Melissa Diamant, Vice President of the Preferred Banking Group. Not the Unpreferred Banking Group, just the preferred one. Promising debut young singer, okay. So junior players to feature social concern. That's good. And details about that first production, the whole troop is sworn to secrecy. Oh. I thought by reading a line at random it might be funny, but it wasn't. Oh well. Taste makers. Chantina reflects on Chantina. Wow. More. Oh man, look at these graphics. This is truly a multimedia game. <laughs> Okay, who else is there? Um, I guess let's look at all of them. Might as well. Rashid Ahmad. Residence, Dubai. National origin, United Arab Emirates. Occupation, President, Dubai Development Corporation. Partner, Fantastic Films Productions. Okay. Let's just sneak into his confidential papers and read them. Oh no, Ahmad breaks rules in Dubai and keeps his head. In Gulf Real Estate, they say there are 101 sharks and one dolphin. The dolphin, Rashid Ahmad, seems to have found an exception to every rule of doing business in this no-holds-barred town. Ahmad builds schools, says a competitor, with amazement. And they are built to last for 500 years. I don't know where he gets his margin. Dubai Development Corporation, Amman's operating company, builds schools, hospitals, housing for the poor and elderly, parks, even summer camps for children. Amman is not doing it for charity either. He insists as aides that each project turns a profit in the long run. But just how he ekes out a profit from jobs other developers won't touch, he doesn't say. Amman is very strong, says a planning minister who admires his work. He is clever without being crooked, and that is a great strength in a man. It's nice. Let's look at this letter, uh, which I can't read. Oh, I can read this, but I'm not going to. Um, three more people. Let's look. Let's look at them quickly. Name: Renato Antonelli. Residence: Florence. National origin: Italian. Occupation: Film director. Okay, so she is a film director. Please verify the level 3 credit status of Miss Renate Antonelli, residence Firenze, Italia, by querying our automatic facility at gramsci at firenze.alital.fin. XOR, your merchant encryption key with our public signature, T. Miglior, Bianco, and the current closing Nikkei average for date authentication. Yours truly, that person. And then, info please, this person. Name, Tori Swift. Tori Swift, Residence, also New from New York. So there are two people National from New origin, York, American. interestingly enough. Occupation, 
media author. She is a media author. This notice for news era level three contract, blah blah blah. Oh, wait, hold on, that's a top hat. Has success spoiled Tori Swift? Nope, but that hop tat that hop tat has. Yep. That top hat has. And then last but potentially not least, this guy. Name Randall Prescott Smith. Residence Darian. National origin American. Occupation <laughs> American. Okay. Smith Bates Industries. Yeah, he he is very cocky about the fact that he is an American. He also has a magazine called Wealth Builder. Three generations. Shirt, shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves. And then it has a thing. He enjoys a level three credit status with Case Bank. Wonderful. I think I want to be this guy because he's American. So how do I do that? I guess register. Do you wish to register as Randall Prescott Smith? Do I? Um, well, chat, what do you think? Do you think I should be Randall Prescott Smith? Or should I be someone who isn't him? Should I be one of the six other people? And I imagine I can go back and be them later if I so choose to do so. Be the American. Alrighty, let's do the it. Scan will uh oh. Verify your identity. Please look into the info link and focus on the lavender light. Thank you. Okay. Got to focus on the lavender light. Interpol Central Systems reports that your print has been verified. All right, I am him. Although I'm, <laughs> that would be a weird game if I wasn't. Funds are transferred from your private account to cover today's bidding. Now, please select your bidding key, the key with which you shall bid. Well, I you think. <laughs> thank you for that explanation. I had no idea the bidding key would be the key with which I bid. Um, I have no idea how to do that though. How do I select a bidding key? Are these people bidding keys? I want that one. Um, yeah, is this in the info link? No. How do I do this? How do I select a bidding key? The key with which I bid. I'm clicking everywhere and it's not happening. Oh, that was something, I think. No, I think it was just... Oh. Okay, if you double click uh, on places, you can go there immediately. Um, um, I don't go back. Can I uh, register this guy? Do you wish to register as? Takeshi no, I registered as that guy, right? Did I? Do you wish to? Hold on. Can I go to portfolio? No. I can't go to art neck. Is this like a button I have to press one? Or I don't know. Uh, help, please help me. No, I have to drag help. I need help on bidding the key. The info bar alerts you to details of ongoing info link activity. The current user, for example. Which applications are open. Current information about the items on display. And more. You have two eyes. Why not keep one on the info bar? Okay. You know, I didn't know I had two eyes until I played Millennium Auction. This game teaches you about the human body. 
Ah, uh, because I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna register if this guy again. Wish to reg the retinal scan. Now, please select your bidding key. I can to listen to this The song. key with which you shall bid. You may choose any alphanumeric or function key on the keyboard. Oh, okay. Press the key on the keyboard. I will press the, um, hmm. I'll press the T key for tin and stelium. Please verify your bidding key by typing it again. Oh, wait, now. this is the key you press, um, to bid, isn't it? Are there more bidders who wish to register? Oh, man, this is a multiplayer game. Wow, um, no, not close today. Close the info link and enter the gallery. Drag the close hologram into the info link vortex. Okay. There we go, I closed info link. Oh no, sound, please. You were working so fine, and now you're not. I think it might actually be an issue with midis for some reason. Because I tried playing a midi on here and it did that static thing. Um, I want to listen to the midis, but I don't want to hear the static. Hold on. Do you wish to exit the game? Please type save it. The name of the file you would like to use okay. To save I cannot stand game. that buzzing, so I'll call it test, whatever. This game has game been has been saved. Hold on. I'm gonna quit out of here. Um, maybe there's like a thing that I can fix. Uh, let me do a quick bit of research here. If not, I might have to disable midis if that's possible. Um, let's see, Windows, oh wait, you can't search in the address bar in Internet Explorer 5.5, can you? Google.com. Oops, I searched for nothing. Windows 95 MIDI static key sound. Please, um... Page cannot be displayed. Wonderful. How about this one? Page cannot be displayed. Can this one be displayed? Okay, that can be displayed. When using my 16-bit window sequencer, I get erratic. There's static or tempo glitches. Yes, there is static indeed. Uh, most of the problems, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's reset. I don't think uh, changing the disk cache is going to fix a static problem with MIDI's. Uh, they don't seem particularly connected. Yeah, um, hold on. Maybe instead of, um, oh, hold on. VMware Communities. Oh, come on, page cannot be displayed. Why is that? Why can you not display this page? Um, unfortunately, I have the Opera web browser installed in here because it came installed in the VM for some reason. Perhaps this will work a bit better. Uh, I did not know, actually, that Opera was available for Windows 95, but it is, um, again, Windows 95 MIDI. Sorry about this. I hope that the problem would just be due to MIDI playback, and although I think it is, I did not realize that Millennium Auction would be playing MIDI's. Where is it? There. That's the page I want. There we go. Now you're loading it. Slowly. Very slowly. I've tried a lot of sound drivers. Some just cause windows to blue screen. Some play the sounds chopped up, some play static. Does anyone know a driver that will completely work? No. 
Oh, that's helpful. That's very helpful. Uh, is um, have we tried a different driver or something? Uh, no, the thing is, this virtual machine did not come uh, pre-installed with the sound driver, so I had to install my own. And this is like the one to install. I don't know if there is any other one that will work in the virtual machine, because there is, like, some reason where they like, in Windows 95, sound doesn't really work in VMware, so I'm almost partially tempted to just download a Windows 98 uh, virtual machine image. And have that download in the background and see maybe if a uh, millennium auction will work in that and we'll have sound without glitchy midis uh, in fact i'm going to do that actually i'll have that downloading in the background while i try to fix it anywho anyway so ignore me doing the thing uh vmware image Let's see, is there one? That is the question. Uh, do, 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 do. Trying to find an image so I don't have to install Windows 98 because that would just take too long. Not finding one, not as quickly as I found a, a 95 one. Do, 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 do. Aha, Windows 98 VMware image from jsfiddle.net, which is uh, not where I thought it would be. Um, does this look uh, legitimate? <laughs> A Windows 98 VMware image on jsfiddle. And it says, download Windows 98 VMware image. Pointifically Jamaican rumps were being figuring peerlessly beside the Windows 98 VMware image. Lowlander. Agglutinatively, agglutinatively, <laughs> superior initialism had blenched. Windows 98 VMware image have protonated. Jeers had extremely flauntingly obligated pernicusly, no pernicusly among a error. Pleasantly, <laughs> subliteral principle had been wickered. Lumpectomy has been singly attached per the seaman. Oh man. Stoutly earthbound economist is a Lizzie. Zakuska can jog two to a pair. Ostmark is the imaginal Marlin spike. Horsewoman has Windows 98 VMware machine. Windows 98 VMware image. Oh man. Horsewoman has this. Green bones will have been cackled. Windows 98 VMware machine dragoons had decentralized beneath Barnett. Boars have envisioned. <laughs> I just can't believe that I live in a world where this combination of words has been created. Ever. Uh, I'm almost tempted to click download to see what happens. I don't think that'll end well, though. I really don't. I I don't think this is legitimate. Um, it's malvacious, in fact. A malvacious Windows 98 VMware image had been enhanced. Unlettered Plato has been soothed. Mandatory Ramsons was the haphazardly adamical verbosity. Blogboard footslogs up to the jadedly spoony crossbreed. 
Cyclopean Maureen is bricked sensationally over the precip precipitation. A Basque literate slynesses have classically beggared ag download Windows 98 VMware image. Um, use Windows 93, not net. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Um, what do you think is the worst that'll happen if I download this? Like, legitimately. Because I'm curious, like, could this potentially brick my computer and, like, make it so I cannot start my computer until I give some Russian developer $200 in cash? Because I don't want to have to do that. But I'm also sort of curious to see what it is. <laughs> like, um... The yeah, ISO zone. Okay, that might... That's a good link. Um... You know what I may do? I might just download it in um, the Windows 95 virtual machine. What is th is this? Uh, will this work on VMware? I don't know. I'll download it anyway. <laughs> um, but I'm going to download that in Windows 95. And we're going to see what happens. We are um, knowingly going to put a virus on our virtual machine right now. This is, this is history in the making. Someone is going to download the pointifically Jamaican rups for being fingery power sleep assigned. Yeah, we're going to download, uh, which was the thing that said? We're going to download the thing that Horsewoman has. Yes, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to copy-paste that URL. jsfiddle.net slash cb3sa Initializing the awesome. Oh man, I cannot wait for this awesome. So awesome. Um, well, that's great. It doesn't even work. It doesn't even work. How can I download it if it won't even run in this browser? Okay. Um, this proves a problem. I want to download a virus, but I can't do it because my web browser is out of date. Um, but that actually uh, sends you to a URL. Uh, you can see that there, hovering over the button, does that. So I'm just going to type that in. Googlex not in. If only I could um, memorize that. I'm gonna have to go. Hold on. Come back, Opera. Never meant to close you. You're not my default web browser, though. Okay, so this is galglex.in slash 3585 question mark 77 and 3585. Whoop, that is not 3585. Hold on. 3585 question mark 77 Yes, I am definitely planning on running Windows 98 in Windows 65. That's um, the new version of Windows that's coming out in 2065. I have um, exclusively attained the pre-alpha for the Windows version coming out 50 years from now. I forget what that was. It was a 77 slash, I think. 358, uh, 77 and keyword equals Windows 98. Okay. And keyword, whoops, it's all caps. Keyword equals Windows 98. And what was the rest of it? VMware image, not RAR. And also that W is capitalized. Uh, let's see. 
v vmware image dot rar. Go for it. Oh man. Click run when prompt prompted. It is square megabytes. That yeah that that really makes me feel safe about this. Um hold on. Yeah, go for it. Run it. <laughs> uh oh. The C program files Opera Pro expects a newer version of Windows upgrade your Windows version. Oh. Could not start application. <laughs> I can't even run the virus. Hold on, let's save this. Yeah, save it in my documents, please. What is transfers? Oh, it's on downloads. Okay. It downloaded. Now, how do I get to my documents in Windows 95? C drive on my doc. That would be easy. Windows 98 VMware image. Please upgrade your Windows version. Okay. A device attached to the system is not functioning. Wonderful. So, I don't know if the virus has uh, not worked, or if that's supposed to happen, if it's supposed to make you think, oh, I need to click this again, or if it just legitimately, the virus doesn't work on Windows 95. Um, tend to think of it, it might be a case, considering it's a Windows 98 VMware image, and this is Windows 95. That might not uh, work from a technical standpoint. I could try downloading this in my Windows 2000 virtual machine. In fact, I'm going to because I am an idiot and I'm sort of curious. I just hope there's like no um like network connections between this virtual machine and my actual computer and that by running this virus it inadvertently affects my actual computer because that would be terrible. Hello, Pac-Man. Um, so yeah, I've sort of gone off of a tangent here. Gone on quite a tangent. This is not quite Millennium Auction, but then again, there's no way you're going to listen to that static the whole time, so this is better than nothing. Um, I still need to set up the VM setup.7 dip, the legitimate thing has zero seconds left. I think it's been there for a long time. I don't know if it's actually going to download or what. Uh, hold on, let me fix the window here. Uh, that's the... no, it's the wrong one. I need... that one. There we go. Shrink that some. There. Oh, that's even even worse shapes. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Internet Explorer. This is also Internet Explorer 5.5, isn't it? Help, please. No, this is just plain old Internet Explorer 5. This is um, less Internet... <laughs> This is an older version than the one I have on Windows 95. It's brilliant. Um, I may have to download internet. I may have to download Firefox in this. Uh, JSFiddle.net slash CB3SA. I don't know why I'm trying this in 5 when it didn't work in 5.5. Oh, hey, it's actually sort of done something, believe it or not. Sort of. Well, there's the URL, so that's that's sufficient. Copy that, paste that. Uh, actually, before I paste this, or before I press enter, I want to make sure. Hold on. Um, network adapter. Disconnect that. Uh, disconnect the printer too. No way this thing can connect. Um, oh wait, hold on. I do need this connected uh, via the network adapter, because else I'm not going to be able to get on the internet. 
Um, so, let's just pray this doesn't kill my computer. Um, hopefully it remains saved um, and doesn't escape the bounds of the Windows 2000 virtual machine. I would like to open the file from its current location, please. Oh. Internet Explorer was not able to open this internet site. It's either unavailable or cannot be found. Here we go. Oh man. Your file is now ready to be downloaded on here to start download. Okay, let's do it. Do it. Download now. Direct download. Do it all. Full download verified. Download everything. And yet it downloads nothing. <laughs> um... Hold on, paste it again, and let's paste it in some spaces there, no. Okay, let's try this again. You're about to view pages over a secure connection, okay. This page cannot be displayed. I don't think, I don't think Internet Explorer likes it, honestly. So, I'm going to say screw Internet Explorer. And let's download, hold on, gotta go to google.com. Firefox will surely let us download this virus. Firefox Windows uh, 2000. I don't know why I'm so fascinated about this uh, thing, which I guarantee is a virus. Who knows, maybe this is a virus too, oldapps.com. It can maybe be a thing. Uh, I would like to download you, please. How do I do that? Here we go. You really go up to 10 for Windows 2000. Surprises me. Okay. I don't know what ESR means, but I'll just download this one. This should work on Windows 2000. Again, run it from its current location. And the paper flies out of the earth and lands into the giant folder planet. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> the uh, virtual machine setup is finally... Remember that zip I downloaded 10 minutes ago? It's finally finished. It's VM setup dot ISO, which I assume can be um, ran in VMware, maybe. I will try that after I download this virus. Warning: the authentic the authenticity of this content cannot be verified. Well, it's Firefox, so go ahead and run. I imagine even if they do throw in some adware in this download, it should. At least include a working version of Firefox. I don't think it would be that bad. Ninety-eight percent extracting, and now a hundred percent extracting, presumably. Hooray, Firefox setup. Standard, please. Sure, make it default. Now, like, Internet Explorer 5.5 is, or 5.0 in this case, is good for much of anything these days. And launch.
don't import anything. I don't have anything to import on here. I should know my rights. About my rights. I have them. That's good. Um, let me paste that URL. Oh man, we're downloading it. 3.9 megabytes is the official amount of space this takes up. Run it. Uh oh. It's an executable file. Executable files may contain viruses or other malicious code that could arm your computer. Use caution when opening this file. Are you sure you want to launch Windows 98 VMware image.rar underscore 114F0 underscore downloader dot exe? Okay. Access to the specified device, path, or file is denied. Okay. This link needs to be opened with an application. <laughs> oh, wait, so this is... Wait, what? Uh-huh. Okay, sure. I don't know. Run it with Firefox. <laughs> um, save it. I don't know what I did. Hold on. Is it the version 2 currently uses? It might be. I don't know. It was just the latest one that works in Windows 2000. Downloads, please. We have two of them. That's wonderful. Not a valid Win32 application. Oh. Okay. I sure hope this isn't one of those things that has destroyed my hard drive. Is Firefox a valid Win32 application? It is. That's good. Is Fred? He is. But apparently this is actually not a valid Windows 32 application. So does it just not work? Or is it... That's interesting. It is not a valid application because it was working before, wasn't it? Did it destroy itself or something? Or I mentioned needing Win32 and then I said open that up with Fire... I don't know. Um... Let's try restarting. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll maybe it'll do something then. Now the problem with the Windows XP virtual machine is then I have to find Windows XP from somewhere. Oh, hold on.
Uh, hello? It might be back, maybe. I just got a Twitter alert from myself, Twitch posted on my behalf, that said I'm streaming Millennium Auction, which I fixed. Although apparently I didn't fix the internet. Um, if you can hear me, hello. Um, okay, I think the chat should be back. Um, it'll reconnect shortly. I have the chat on another thing, and that's back. So, hopefully, maybe you can hear me. Um, hold on. Okay, I heard me say hello, so... Hold on, test, test, it came back on that side. I think we're good to go. Hey, we're back, okay. So yeah, that, um, that happened once before, at like 8 o'clock, right before I started streaming. And I hoped it didn't happen, I hope it wasn't going to happen again, um, and it was just a fluke, but apparently it wasn't, um... So yeah, sorry about that. Um, not really anything I can do to help that. I have no idea what's causing it. Um, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Guess if it does, I might just end the stream because it's not really going that well. To be honest, anyway, we've sort of gotten sidetracked for the past half an hour trying to download a virus under our virtual machine instead of playing the game I said it was going to play. Um, by the way, in case you care, I restarted the virtual machine and it did nothing out of the ordinary. So I think the thing just didn't work. Either that or it's one of the things that it only activates on certain times or on certain days or under certain conditions which have not currently been met. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to suspend Windows 2000. Give it in-school in suspension for the time being. And then there was that VM setup.iso thing that was downloaded. I'm going to try um, loading that up in VMware. Apparently that's a Windows, two, um, Windows 98 thing which might work, perhaps. Why do I have a link in my Twitch info that links to your, my Twitch page? Why do you not have a link in your Twitch info that links to your Twitch page? I mean, that's like absolutely necessary. <laughs> And also a joke. Alrighty, VM setup.iso. Could not detect which operating systems in this disk image. That's a great start. Should be Windows 98. We'll pretend it is. And then I have absolutely no hope for this. <laughs> no hope at all, but. I could be wrong. We shall see. Yeah, it's, it's just going to spin like this and it's going to say can't find operating system. And I guarantee you that's what it's going to do. <clears throat> Yep, no boot file name received. Windows 98 is not installed on the virtual machine. Oh no! Um, so yeah, that didn't work. I uh, don't know exactly what's on the ISO. I guess I can mount it on my E drive, I suppose. Uh, except it's not here. Oh, there it is. Drive E mount. Please. I uh, go ahead and run setup, I suppose. Known compatibility issues. Run it anyway. Newer version of the Microsoft VM detected installation. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, it's probably where I tried installing it at one point. Can you ask Tim where to get his? Um, well, the thing is, he probably um, just downloaded a Windows 98 ISO and installed it that way, which I could do. It would just take time. And I wanted to download, like, a VMware image with Windows 98 built in so I wouldn't have to take the 30 minutes or so it would take to install Windows in the virtual machine and then configure it initially and all that stuff. So, and I don't really want to do that on stream because that would be a boring 30 minutes. So, yeah, Windows 98 does not work. At least that ISO didn't. Shut down the guest, please. I'm just going to delete that. No need in having something which doesn't work. Um, so here are the choices, I suppose. We can play Millennium Auction and listen to the staticky music, um, which is probably not very desirable. I can see if I can um, disable MIDI's, if that's possible. Let me look into that momentarily. There's like a thing that allows you to do that. Where is Millennium Auction saved? Probably under Auction. There we go. Um, troubleshooting. I need troubleshooting, please. Although, I don't think the issue is with the game. Sound Blaster 16 cars ensure that the drivers are updated to a driver's state at February 1994 or later. I think I'm using a Sound Blaster 16 on here. Aha, uh -huh, game settings. Is there a disable midis option in here? Bidding time, 3,000. Use speech. Disable murmur. Preload speech. Game history equals 7 for some reason. Um, I don't think there is an option to simply disable midis. Which is quite unfortunate. Also, I can't click exit because this thing is too high for some reason. Hmm. Well, again, with Millennium Auction, we've reached a situation where I think I can play it, but I can't really. <laughs> if something comes up and, and it spoils the experience. These are all WA8 and PID files, not MID files. That's a rename MID files. What's AIP? I Have you all gone to sleep? The minimum bid for this item has not been received. We shall pass on this item and move along. Oh no. We will pass on the item and move along, except we won't because there's static in all the music. Um... So I guess I can do something else, I suppose. That's not Millennium Auction. I don't know what, though. That's the problem. Let me see. I probably have something here. find something that might be interesting to stream. Um, here's an idea. This is probably not the game uh, I expected to be streaming at the start of this, but it could be interesting, maybe. 
it is a game that probably will not require a virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and close that. Um, it's called 101 Puppy Pets, the virtual pet game by Viva Media and Select Soft Games, one of the better known uh, companies that makes games such as 155,000 games or 500,000 games or 750,000 games. One of those games. So you know you get quality with those games. Got this game for Easter maybe eight or nine years ago, who knows? A long time ago, certainly. I have no idea if this will be interesting, but it's like in alphabetical order, this is the first game um, that I have, and I can see the cover like all the time, so. But they have so many games, I have to sort them in alphabetical order, or it takes forever to find them, at least PC games, although I sort my console games too. Uh, you cannot see anything that's happening right now. Uh, now you. Nope. Hold on. There we go. Taco Bell 1 did not work, unfortunately. It ran at like 2 frames per second. And 101 Puppy Pets is a simulation of raising puppies. Raise 1 or 101. It's your choice. The rules are simple. You take care of your puppies and keep the statistics as high as possible. Then you have to do dog things. Uh, this requires a 700 megahertz processor, 256 megabytes of RAM, and a DirectX compatible sound card, comma. Yeah, I agree to those terms and conditions, which I didn't read. That'll be fair. If you do read the terms and conditions, you're probably doing it wrong. It is installing base components. Afterwards, it will install treble components. <sighs> Incidentally, I also saved the um, weird text for the Windows 98 VMware image. Perhaps while this installs, I'll read the rest of it. Oh wait, it just um, repeats twice. It's lame. So now I've, I've already read the whole thing, unfortunately. Uh, it's finished. Uh, let's go ahead and run. I don't know it's in full screen. I uh, hope, Hopefully I can get this in a window. Well, at least you can sort of see what's going on. And now you can't because I've clicked. Um, this better have a windowed mode or else it's not going to work. Options. Full screen. Yes. Um, 800 by 600, please. Hello, iPad has said something. What has it said? It has said that not Tim has just gone live. So now we get to advertise other streamers and now they, um... Now everyone in my stream will stop, stop watching to watch them, although, given the content and not Tim, who knows what it is. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to capture it over the virtual machine scene. Window capture, please. There we go. So, I don't know much about this game, but on the fact that it is one... There we go. So I suppose let's start. So the we are at the pet shop where you can buy a Labrador Retriever. A Labrador Retriever. Dalmatian. Two Dalmatians and then we have different types of dogs. So which type of dog should I get? Should I get the 
Labrador Retriever, the Dalmatian. Maybe that Dalmatian. They are identical for some reason. The Siberian Husky, the Rottweiler, the Doberman, the Golden Retriever, the Beagle, the Staffordshire Terrier, or the Jack Russell Terrier. Uh, which dog is Frank or Z, come to think of it? Ranker Z, capital Z, please. Um, Jack Russell Terrier sort of looks like it. Yeah. Let's go with, um, let's make Frank or Z. Why not? Um, I don't know which gender Frank or Z was. I'll just go with boy because that was the first one checked. Also, if you want your dog to be lime green, you can have it that way. Turquoise. Dark dog. My dog is emo. Yellow dog, red dog, pink dog, lavender dog. Something about that just looks not quite right. I'm going to go with a white dog because that's what Fringer Z is. Oh. I want to start. Okay. Play. Camera options. Okay. To adjust your viewing angle, click your left mouse button. Hold down to move your mouse in the de desired direction. You can tilt up, tilt down, pan to the left, and pan to the right. Sounds like a dance song. Pan to the left, pan to the right. Use the mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out. Puppy tricks. <laughs> to gesture your puppy to perform tricks, click on your right mouse button. Hold down and see the list of gesture command tricks below. Okay. New dog show has started. Click. Okay. Oh man, my dog is running down the red carpet. Straight into first place. I think he got it, unless it's the other dog who looks identical. I don't have puppy treats. Okay. Let's get some puppy treats. I won first and won $73. Hooray! Oh, I... You click the one button and it closes the other one, too. I need puppy treats. How do I get those? Um, shop. That would be it. I need... Treats. Is that a treat? Puppy treats, yeah. Oh, bye. Oops. That's more than I wanted. Oh, well. I wanted a baker's dozen, but that's not happening. Let's play ball. Wow. This is a video game. Oh, yes, it is. Treats with a Z. Treats. Treats. Oh, well, I un unlocked a new item by throwing a ball once. Let's throw a frisbee. Well, that running animation. <laughs> so authentic. I mean, I can just play these things that I unlock new items, like... Wow, what a jump dog! You jumped over that ball real good. Training. And now you just literally watch the dog run around. Wow. Now what's this training? I'm just letting him do whatever he wants. He could use some food. I'm gonna walk him. Apparently training wasn't walking him. Also, I like how it's counting down the number of seconds you have played this game. <laughs> like, as if you know you can't stand this game, so you gotta find out exactly how many seconds you can stand this game. It's like a slow run. Who has played the game for the longest? Uh, let's go to bedroom. Wow. 
park. Park two, park one, park two, park one. Which park do you want to go to? They all look identical. That's wonderful. And then let's go to the vet. We've now gone to the vet. Now we're at the bedroom. Oh, wait. Uh, I need to continue play. There we go. New dog show has started. Okay. See if we can get some more cash. My cleanliness level is dangerously low. Don't know if it's going to happen. Second place. I won $40. That's nice. Uh, we need to care. Bad dog. Bad boy. Good boy. Sleep, dog, I command you. <laughs> this looks like he dies. Which is probably not a very good thing. Oh, man, I can dress up my dog. Yes, my dog is wearing clothes. There are no new dresses to buy. Use it. Yeah, we are using clothes now. My dog is dressed up. Let's wash him. There is no brush. So I gotta buy a brush. I have bought a brush. Wait, no. Hold on. Go back. I wanna wash him. Use brush. Wow. It's like you don't even, don't even go to like a separate room like in Nintendo Dogs. You just brush him right here. Uh, drink the dog. There is no drink. Now there is. There's some food too. Use the drink, and let's go ahead and give him the food too. Can't do that at the same time though. Now eat. And let's call him. Well, now he just, he just sits. He can't really pet the dog, I don't think. I don't think he does anything. Outdoor. Oh, that's the same thing. Um, how do I make the dog go to the bathroom? Uh, would that be walking? I have 69 cash, by the way. Oh yes, that is how you make the dog go to the bathroom. How funny. So I think in 7 minutes 22 seconds I've done pretty much everything there is to do in this game. I can buy an environment. Kennel costs too much. I can buy a ball. I want to buy the environment. I now own the environment. How do I access the environment? Did I literally just buy that thing? A new dog show has started. Okay, we're in the shop menu and the dog show at the same time. I did it, I won, and <laughs> that dog is outside the menu. I won $72 that time. I 
And I can now buy a kennel. All right. Is that more food? Water bowl, food bowl, another environment. It's an environment stuff. You can add a rug uh, to the room. Where is the kennel? Where has that gone to? Is that in the bedroom? One of the parks? Nope. Who knows? Who knows? So, Frank or Z, how are you doing? I don't think he's doing too good. Just running around in circles, doing very weird motions with his body. I think he's turned into a robot or something. Might want to go to the vet, the vet to get that looked at. He looks very not happy to be at the vet. So, I have a slight feeling, just a slight feeling, that this game is not quite as good as Nintendogs. Not quite. I've played this game for 10 minutes. I think that deserves an achievement. I can pause it. And I can unpause it. I've discovered a bug. Take a look at that timer in the upper right. Okay, it's counting up. I'm going to pause it when it's done like three quarters of a second. Like that, okay? And then, I, that was another half a second, and another half a second. The second resets. So if I just keep pausing and unpausing every half a second, I will never play this game for more than 10 minutes and 19 seconds. That is an interesting glitch. There is no dog show right now. Can he ball? Oh no, he can't find the ball. Because I intentionally clicked it poorly. It's probably close enough. Rough, rough, rough. Oh man, I unlocked another new item. Do I just like a new item? I don't know. How can you not find the ball, dog? It's right there. Right there. I need to feed Frank or Z. No, I'm not going to feed him. Is he going to die if I don't feed him? Yeah, I just keep unlocking new items um, with playing ball and frisbee. I don't really care to do that. No, I'm not feeding him. I want his happiness and health to decrease to zero. I want to see if the dog dies. Because what else can you do in this game? There, there's not much. My dying dog. You know, maybe maybe I should let Frank or Z live after all. Because he is Frank or Z. I should feed him. I want second. You know, I feel bad for... Whoops. I feel bad for wanting to kill the dog. If only I knew how to feed him care.
You have food. Go on and eat it. Go on and eat it. So as you can see, stats go down very quickly in this game. Because cleanliness. In 10 minutes, he's gone from perfectly clean to completely covered in dirtiness things. Whatever that would be. So he's getting happier now, he has more health. Going to sleep. Good Franker Z. Oh no, I got sixty dollars. Oh no. When the most fun you have out of a game is clicking on the buttons frequently. I think that means you haven't made a very good game. <laughs> and unfortunately this hasn't been the most successful stream either. It's been a stream played by things not working. Um, we had Millennium Auction trying to get it to run at all. That was a problem of, getting it, of having it not working. And then the middies did not work properly. Then the internet crashed, and that did not work properly. The two games I tried to play before Millennium Auction did not work properly, and I had to go with my third choice. And even the virus that I tried to download did not work properly. Uh, why am I still playing this? Well, that's the thing. I'm not playing this anymore. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to end the stream now, because I don't really have anything else planned. Um, maybe one day I'll finally fix Millennium Auction again so that the uh, middies don't do that. Uh, maybe I'll have to, when I have some free time, just install Windows 98 on a virtual machine and pray that Millennium Auction works on Windows 98. Um, so yeah, sorry that didn't work. Uh, but thank you again for watching, um... I don't know if I'll be able to stream again the next week, or this week. I have some things coming up. Do like a paper and whatnot. So, I will see you whenever I stream again. Thank you again for watching, and have a good night.